Hi guys, how's it going? Bonjour, comment ça va? And welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Now, today we're talking specifically about the problems that people have had since Oculus or Facebook have been updated the Oculus Quest 2 to version 25, as well as the issues with the actual Oculus app by Facebook uh, that people are having as well and how potentially to fix it and what you can do. All right, let's go. So some of you apparently have been having tremendous issues since the update of version 25 and also potentially version 26 or 25 point whatever it might be closer to 26 um, where basically there's lagging issues in the menu the user interface doesn't show up properly or perhaps when you go to oculus link you know black screen all these kind of things and apparently some issues also with the guardian it's glitching and that kind of stuff so and also of course the oculus app itself which apparently when you try to go on it it just freezes or it just boots you out automatically and closes and all this kind of stuff. Now there are apparently some solutions which I'm going to take from my computer um, that you know might apply to you. Now first of all um, do know that if you're not an Oculus Quest owner um, and you're thinking about going to the Quest you will need a Facebook account in order to log into your Quest and if you get banned on your Facebook account they will completely wipe out all your games whatsoever and all your money completely gone um so that's the quick disclaimer now for those who are new at the quest um you know and haven't really gone through this kind of stuff before do know that usually it's very usual activity for things to bug with the oculus quest because it is always under beta it's it's a better product it's a new product it's cutting edge technology so there are always going to be problems Generally speaking, Facebook do try to solve these things as fast as possible. So even though you might be very frustrated right now, oh my God, whew, I remember those times. Um, don't worry, generally it takes, you know, maybe a week, couple of weeks, you know, to get all these kind of things fixed. Now let's move on to the potential solutions. But first, remember to join the notification squad so you don't miss any future videos which we upload quite regularly to the channel by leveling up after you subscribe. Now for the fix of the Oculus version 25, unfortunately, apparently according to Oculus, the official solution is to actually do a factory reset, which can be quite of a bummer because you might lose a lot of the stuff that you installed and then you're gonna have to install them again and all that kind of stuff. Now, however, for your side quest, there is a way for you to save all your games so that apparently, you know, you don't have to do all the reinstall and all that kind of stuff. So I will put links in the description below the like button. So it redirects you as to how to do all that because the installation process from the website seems pretty self-explanatory. So, you know, you can just go and read up. I'm sure you'll be able to do it quite fast. Now do note that the website, one of the links actually will be in Hebrew because they're based in Israel. However, just click on the translation button to English at the top right, you know, I think right hand side corner if you're using Google perhaps so that it will translate the entire page in English and as I mentioned it's quite short and simple to actually follow the instructions there. If you're trying to create a support ticket to Facebook do remember that Facebook are renowned in the industry for having zero communication skills so don't expect a reply from them but by all means go ahead hustle them throw them as many customer support tickets as you can so that of course it will mount the stress and get them to fix the problem as fast as possible. As for the Oculus app now you know who knows what the problem is it could be one little digit or number or letter or whatever it might be in the string of code that is creating this issue but generally speaking these kind of issues of app you know just closing and all this is also due to an overload in servers or people trying to get into the app at the same time and perhaps you know they need to increase the server so that you know it can handle all the various different requests at the same time so it could also be because they're doing some behind the scenes testing as we know that Facebook and the Oculus products are always always on the beta they're always experimenting it's cutting edge technology so again if it happens to you you know just buy your stuff directly from the you know Oculus store in the Quest itself if you if you can of course or just deal without the app for a while until the problem is solved but I'm sure as I mentioned they will solve it pretty fast.